No, oh, but Jeff, uh, just thinking like, um, thinking about the different types of pipe required to complete a task for a municip municip municipality. Thank you. My goodness, I could I spit the word out. What is going on, everybody? My name is Chris Work. I'm here with my partner, Jeff Spencer. How's it going, Chris? It's going good, man. How you doing? Doing well. Awesome. Listen, uh, if your kids are up, you may want to go ahead and put them to bed because this is the Profit Dig Construction Show. <laughs> and I'm just kidding. I was like expecting like some big boom music, something to kick in, but nothing really happened. Um, no, it was uh, it was kind of an awkward thing. Uh, I uh, I didn't, but someone earlier w was was talking to Jeff about pipe, and they started by saying, "Jeff, you're an expert at laying the pipe." It was just the way they said it, um, uh, inadvertently, obviously. Um, was Jeff? You, you know, I mean, you you're a family man, so you you also know how to lay pipe. So. Um, <laughs> Um, I've pretty much made my career. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right. right. 24-7. Yep. 24-7. Um, no. Uh, gosh, maybe you really should put your kids to bed for this episode. Uh, we, need to, we need to clean this up real quick. Um, no, but Jeff, uh, just thinking like, um, thinking about the different types of pipe required to complete a task for a municip municip municipality. Thank you. Yeah. My goodness, I could not spit the word out. <laughs> Um, and just how like from, you know, one city to the next that can change yes. and, and this and that. So, <clears throat> well, not necessarily from one city to the next, it's like districts, you know, you, you may have multiple utility districts in, in one city well, sure. or one county. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just from district to yeah. district, you know, depending on what their, their specifications may yeah. be. Yeah. Well, in your experience, is it fairly common to experience uh, a difference between it some is. of the requirements? It, it is. is. Okay. And, you know, a lot of them, you know, will somewhat you know require certain brands you know of, of materials they want you to use uh like a lot of municipalities like metro nashville you know pretty much everything you do in metro uh is either going to be ductile iron pipe uh or it's going to be you know copper for your water side and on sanitary sewer it's going to be sometimes you know ductile iron is required on sanitary depending on the depth or the shallowness of the pipe uh also you know you got sdr 26 sdr 35 sewer pipe pvc Okay. you know is is going to be required uh and there's a lot of you know different types of pvc pipe you can use as well for water okay okay and you mentioned uh like specific brands that that they uh recommend doesn't matter it doesn't mean necessarily have to, 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 to absolutely purchase those brands but no. uh, i mean you, you may have one municipality you know it's a stickler like you know this is the only brand we're going to going to accept uh, but for the most part, you know, like when you get a bid package and you're going to bid this municipal project, you know, they're going to just, I'm going to throw out a couple of names there. It may say like American or Griffin pipe, mm -hmm. if it's Dr. Iron and they, but they'll, they'll call it out, you know, like say, may say American pipe or equal to, or equal to, yeah. As okay. long as it, the, and what they're saying is like, you know, Hey, we prefer American, but if Griffin has the same classifications on their pipe is what what we're requiring through American then you're welcome to use Griffin pipe okay okay and and I assume that is noted on your bid uh, well I mean you submit or when, whenever you're whenever you're bidding a project when you are awarded the job you're becoming low bidder at that time you put together a submittal package yeah okay. <clears throat> this is all the materials that you're going to use and so you hand that over to the the municipality Right, they and that it. and that's where I'm identifying right. the brands, the brands, and, okay. the, and the classifications for the brands I'm using, and they may come back, you know, and in ninety five percent of yours may be accepted, and they may circle a valve or something, say, you know, well, we really want like a a Mueller valve, or you know, we want uh, an American valve, whatever it okay. may be, or I want an M and H, whatever it may be, or or fire hydrant. Okay. So you know, at that point, so, then you know, so I got to get back. I got to get on the phone. And get new quotes depending on the size well, of the not, project. Not necessarily new quotes, but I mean, at this point, I have decided on a supplier that I'm using. Mm -hmm. 
based off of his pricing that helped okay. me get the job. Well, sure, sure. And so I'm going to call that supplier up and like, you know, hey, you know, you quoted uh, American Vows and American Firehouse, but they want Mueller. Uh, what are we going to do? You know I mean? How are you going to be able to help me? Can you get them for the same price? Is it going to be more price? You mm-hmm. know, I'm locked in. I've already given a bid, so i got to right. do it. Yeah. So at that point, you know, you may have to eat a little bit of money. Okay. Uh, because you're locked in at those prices, you know you can't you can't go back and ask for a change order. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. All right. That makes sense. So it really doesn't sound like that as a contractor, you don't necessarily have a lot of leverage in that position. I mean, no, you're, you're just going with a quality product. Here's my cost. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm going to charge. And if it comes back that they're dissatisfied with yeah. the valve manufacturer that you've chosen, or they are just sold on this other you know yeah. brand because that's what they use in all the other but, jobs or whatever then they're right. just going to act on it and just like you know like municipal work and and like say t dot work you know something of that stature you give most of the time you give unit prices so you've got x number of valves at such and such price x yep. uh, uh linear feet of pipe at such and such price so your change orders whether it be negative or additive at that point, they use your unit price. So, say you got a thousand feet of six-inch pipe. Well, we're going to take two hundred feet off. So, whatever unit price you give, that's what you give back. Okay. So, I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. Yeah. And if they say they want to add a thousand feet to that thousand, so now whatever unit price you give, it just doubles add that. Add a thousand yeah. to it. Okay. All right. Well, Jeff, good stuff as always, man. And yeah. uh, you, you do know your pipe, so. Um, Check us out <laughs> at ProfitDig.com if you need a job bidding and costing solution while laying your pipe. Um, I guess I'll, I'll leave it at that, Jeff. I don't know where to go. I hope the kids have been put to bed because this has been the uh, uh, the adult version of the Profit Dig Construction Show. Check us out, ProfitDig.com. Subscribe to the channel, like the videos, leave some comments. Let us know what you want to talk about, and we'll see you soon. Later.